Hey folks, welcome to our channel University Unraveled. Are you an international student planning to study in Australia in 2024? Here's what you need to know. Things have changed and there are new rules around the corner. From stricter English language requirements and a higher financial threshold to changes in post-study work rights and study rules. Furthermore, there are new limitations on working hours and an increase in visa application fees. But don't worry, we've got you covered. We'll delve into each of these rules in detail in the following scenes. Firstly, the work hours for international students have been limited. According to the new rules in Australia, if you're holding a student visa, you're now limited to working a maximum of 48 hours per fortnight while you're studying. However, there's an exception to this rule. If you're working in the aged care sector, working for unrestricted hours ended on the 31st of December 2023. Luckily, you can still work unlimited hours over study breaks and holidays, which makes them a great time to earn some extra cash. So if you're considering part-time work while studying, bear in mind these new limitations. Remember, balance is key. Your work hours should not interfere with your study commitments. Secondly, Australia has introduced stricter English language requirements. The land down under now mandates higher proficiency in English for international students. The minimum IELT scores have seen an increase. For student visas, you'll need to have a score of at least 6.0, but if you're a graduate visa applicant, you're looking at a minimum score of 6.5. These changes have been implemented to ensure that students can fully engage with their coursework and the wider community. So, brush up on your English skills before applying for your visa. Thirdly, the financial threshold for student visa applicants and visa application fees have increased. Visa applicants are now required to demonstrate a minimum financial threshold of 24,505 Australian dollars. This increase aims to ensure that international students can cover their living and study expenses comfortably. Alongside this, visa application fees for several subclasses have also seen a rise. Student visas have increased from $650 to $715. These changes are part of broader efforts to maintain the quality and integrity of Australia's international education sector. Make sure you're financially prepared before embarking on your Australian educational journey. Last but not least, changes have been made to post-study work rights and study rules. For starters, the post-study work rights for international graduates have been trimmed down. The extended work rights have been pulled back, and extensions to the temporary graduate visa are now mainly limited to regional areas. The maximum stay per the temporary graduate visa route is limited to three years for students doing masters by research and PhD. In addition, there's a new rule on the block. Concurrent study is now off the table for international students, except for those who were enrolled in multiple courses before the changes took effect. Additionally, applicants must be in Australia to lodge their application and cannot be older than 35 years of age. The previous maximum age for applicants was 50. These changes aim to ensure that international students are genuinely here to study and gain in-demand skills. As we wrap up, let's quickly summarise the key points we discussed. The new rules for international students in Australia have brought about some significant changes. Working hours are now limited to 48 hours per fortnight while you're studying. English language requirements have also been ramped up, with minimum ELT scores of 6 for student visas and 6.5 for graduate visa applicants. The financial threshold for student visa applicants has gone up, and so have the visa application fees. Post-study work rights have been reduced, and concurrent study is now off-limits. Except for students already enrolled in multiple courses, stay informed and prepared, and your study journey in Australia will surely be a fruitful one. So subscribe and put your reflections as comments. Until next time.